In this video, I'm going to tell you how to get the hag's hair so you can get the plus one ability to the ability of your choice to save Marina and also get the extra XP from killing Auntie Ethel after she gives you the hag hair. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel. We give you the secrets to crush Baldur's Gate 3. So it's really easy to win this fight, I think, if you're like level five or higher, but it's somewhat hard to get the hag hair and it's relatively hard to get Marina if you're not ready for it. So the first thing you want to have prepared is you want to have a spell caster that can cast water because if this fight goes more than one turn then Marina is going to uh, have her cage on fire and it's not going to burn for very long until she falls in the abyss. So you, that, you want to be able to cast water on that and you have a person that's just dedicated to casting water as soon as the hag turns that uh, throws the fireball at Marina's cage. The other thing that you want to have is you want to use magic missile. So magic missile can be separated into four pieces and because the hag separates herself into four pieces and three illusions but the illusions can cast spells hold person which is debilitating to your team then you know you want to take them out quickly and all you have to take them out is with a hit of one hit point and because magic missile is a hundred percent chance of hitting but it does relatively little damage and can be split into four pieces you can number one dispel all the illusions of anti-ethyl at once you can also find anti-ethyl right at once. And so every member of your party should have a, a magic missile scroll. They're so easy to steal from vendors. Check out my pickpocketing videos. You should have a ton of them because they're they're probably the one of the most common scroll that vendors have. And there's even a, a necklace that gives you magic miss, missile and many, if you have the option to get that spell, I highly recommend it for any type of spell caster. And then the other thing is glorious vaulting, especially for your fighters uh, who you want to get really close to anti-ethyl and to, it's a big arena and she teleports around and so being able glorious vaulting lasts for or or enhanced leap the spell versus glorious vaulting the potion that lasts for uh 10 turns so that should last for the entire fight so you want to take that potion go into turn-based mode prior to entering the arena area you you need to get past that tree i think to to uh get anti ethel's cutscene, and hopefully you know you would want to do that with your high initiative character so somebody that's got alert on so typically asterian if you've not changed you've not been really paying attention asterian will be the first one to alert but he's not very good at taking out a lot of damage at once in my opinion uh compared to a fighter or a barbarian like Lizelle and Carlock, but Lizelle has the most initiative and she's got the best leap. And so, you know, with that legendary sword of hers, see our video, then, you know, she's going to take out the most damage at once. And so she could end this fight in one round because she's got four attacks uh, when she hits level five. But you want to make sure that you do not take out all of Auntie Ethel's health. So you have to be very careful when she gets down to like 20 health. So somewhere between 20 and below 10. I've, I've triggered this at 15 health and I've triggered it below 10. Uh, that if you get to Auntie Ethel's turn, she'll trigger a cutscene and then she'll start bargaining with you and you want her to bargain with you because you want to get that plus one ability point right so that plus one ability point is what we're doing this for it's really easy to kill Annie Ethel but to get that ability point you have to get her to bargain with you that means you have to get her down below 20 maybe below 10 definitely I've done it with 15 I've done it with four hit points done it with eight hit points so somewhere in that low range and the other thing is she must not be silenced so silence seems like a pretty good spell to use uh, but you you're if you do use that on her make sure you break concentration once she gets down to low hit points so she can start bargaining. She will not bargain with you if you have silence active on her. Then when you're in the, when you're getting very close to, you know, say you're like in the 20s of hit points for her and you've gotten rid of all her alter egos, uh, 
you want to make sure that you move one of your magic missile characters who you don't want to bargain with her far away from her. So I'm pretty much on the edge here uh, with um, Asterion and Shadowheart that they're just almost too close to get out of a dialogue. So you need to be really far from her to get out of a dialogue with her, but you still want to be in range that you can do a, a magic missile. So just make sure that you have somebody really far from her so you can exit the dialogue after the skill check. So you're going to get a skill check. So going into this, going into the battle, it probably helps if you can use Enhance Ability Eagle Splendor if this person's going to get a Charisma check. So a 20 Charisma check, it really helps to have advantage, uh, even if your save's coming, but or using your inspiration. Uh, and also, if you get a, another person that has concentration, so you use the Eagle Splendor on uh, one one of your person, I think you can split it up to three people, and then put guidance on another person, and be, know that you're going to be far away, so you might not be able to cast guidance, so cast guidance in advance of this, uh, but that has to be somebody that's not constant, that, so for instance, we're using the silver locket uh, in one of these scenarios, the silver uh, locket uh, on Asterion that gives him the ability to cast guidance. So multiple people able to cast guidance is helpful because you're probably going to put uh, Eagle's uh, Splendor or like the Bull's Wrath, I think, uh, in Enhancing Ability, which is a concentration spell. And if you change the, if you, if you cast another concentration spell, then it gets rid of that. Uh, so... Once you get past the, so you either want to do the intimidate, so Lazelle's doing the intimidation check. I think everybody gets the charisma check. That's what you want to do to save Marina and get the hair. And then once you get past that, she's going to drop the hair. And that's when you're going to have one of your distant, you're going to switch characters before you answer the next dialogue. You're going to switch characters to one that is not caught up in anti Ethel's dialogue and you're going to hit her with magic missile and that'll get you the extra 150 points and so killing annie ethel as she says in her dialogue is ineffective that she will resurrect herself is just painful so you don't need to, and the other thing is that i've seen people that have verified that you can kill her and she will be in act three and she has a quest line also, Marina has a quest line. The other thing you want to get on your way out is this Bitter Divorce Wand. It's called Bitter Divorce. It's going to be on the table in the room right next to the Mushroom Circle, which you're going to use to teleport out and then talk to Marina. You, I would recommend not taking Marina's locket just in case that may have some benefits later on, although Asterion will disapprove because it's I just found it pretty useless once I got it. And then you want uh, you can decide if you want to keep Marina's husband who's undead or give her the wand. I would also just give her the wand to improve the relationship with her in Act 3. Personally, uh, I don't think undead summonses are that valuable, and I suspect this bitter divorce wand is only usable with one time so you can't resurrect him multiple times anyways uh sub so once he gets killed then he's all gone so it's not that valuable subscribe to the linus wilson channel we give you the secrets to crush baldur's gate 3 let me know your tips in the description below this is not a hard fight. It, Annie Ethel almost cannot beat you because she's got so little damage potential, but she's very tricksy, and it's very easy to lose Marina. Miss out on the hair if you kill her too quickly and you don't allow her to bargain with you when she gets down below 15 hit points. 